I'm Patchy, your ADHD, immature council out yam yam, and I'm trying foods I've never had before. <laughs> Enjoy. First on the list is Indian curry. Indian restaurants first appeared in England in the 19th century. It really took off in the 1970s when they adapted their menus for a working class white clientele, which then means the Indian takeaway became very popular and widely added into most English people's diets. <laughs> Yo, you know what? This is actually really nice. Wow, this is really good. Yeah, this is really nice, this is. Yeah, thank you. Second on the list, tacos. A traditional Mexican dish consisting of small hand-sized corn or wheat tortilla topped with filling. The tortilla, ah! The tortilla is then folded around the filling and eaten by hand. Tacos. Are these really tacos? Are these what tacos look like? I thought tacos were like Doritos with like filling. How are you supposed to eat this? Like this, how, how are you supposed to eat a taco? Oh, it's just getting everywhere, man. Is it a wrap or is it, is it not? Oh, it's all falling apart, worse than my life. I'm not feeling that, you know. It's a bit watery. It's all falling apart. This ain't, this taco life ain't for me. How are you supposed to eat it? Not a fan at all. Third on the list, a cappuccino. A cappuccino is an espresso-based coffee drink that originated in Austria in the 17th century, with later development taking place in Italy. And it's prepared with steamed milk foam or cream, then flavouring with cinnamon or chocolate powder. Cappuccino, not sponsored. Don't look at the place I got it from, yeah? You know I'm a Starbucks Donny. Half empty, for one, and I ain't even drank it. Just tastes like coffee, if I'm honest. It just, it's dripping everywhere. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Fourth on the list, Burger King. Burger King is an American hamburger fast food restaurant. The company was founded in 1953 in Miami, Florida by James McMore, McElmore, McLemore, and David Edgerton, Edgerton, Edgerton. Burger King is most famous for the Whopper, American's favorite burger. <laughs> Give this Whopper a taste, Burger King. Just looks like a normal burger to me. How much was that, 4 99 It's not all that, you know. I mean, I'd rather just have a Big Mac meal for that much. For like a fiver, and I just got the burger. I'd rather go to McDonald's and have a Big Mac for a quarter pound a meal, do you know what I mean? Because that's what it tastes like. If I'm really right in it, yeah, I'd give it like a five, you know. Fifth on the list, a McDonald's apple pie, which was first added to the menu in 1968, same year the fast food company introduced the Big Mac. We have McDonald's apple pie. I've never had an apple pie before. I used to work at McDonald's and I used to uh, cook these and, and all that. Any road. It smells like batter. Oh, this is gonna be disgusting. Uh, why is there fluff on it? Do you know what? I thought it was gonna be really horrible. I thought I was gonna throw up with the thought of apple in a pie battered, but you know what? It's not that bad, but I'm not gonna ever eat one again. Sixth on the list, a battered Mars bar. The dish or an H. The dish or an Ah! The dish or an Orinated! The dish. The dish originated in a chip shop in Scotland as a novelty item by a geezer named John Davy. I've never had a bad Mars bomb before. not throw that fire. Are they? It's going to blow your mind. Is it? Yeah. If, if it's good, if it's done well, it's going to blow your mind. Okay. I'm really scared of battered Mars bar. That sounds disgusting. It's a Scottish thing. Is it? Mm. You batter anything I do, though. Especially if you make fun of their accent. I sort of get what you mean now. Because the chocolate's melted, I don't think it'd be melted. Yeah. It's not like they're not bad, you know. I thought it was going to be quite intense because of the batter. The batter was like soft, I thought it was going to be crunchy. It's weird though, isn't it, how that works? But yeah. I'm glad you're battered Mars bar virginity was a good experience. Yeah, yeah. my virginity experience. <laughs> well, there's a video of that on my channel if you want to know my experience. Hey! You guys should need that more the lads. Fuck the toe, fuck the toe, fuck the toe. Fuck the toe, fuck the toe, fuck the toe. toe. Seventh on the list, row. Right, so I'm slightly confused of what row is, so please correct me, yeah, if I'm wrong in the comments below. I think it is eggs from a female fish or sea urchin ovaries, which have been made to look like a fish cake, then battered. We have a row. I bet this is gonna be absolutely disgusting. The batter's all coming off it. Brilliant start. I 
I don't like the texture. It does feel a little bit like dog food. And if you choose to go to the chip shop and buy this and eat this, then you need to sit down and have serious words with yourself. <laughs> Eighth on the list, Vietnamese food. In particular, pho is the national dish of Vietnam. Originated in the north of the country in the late 19th century during the French colon... Colonel? Colonel? Colonel times? How have I got a degree? I can't even read. It consists of light beef or chicken broth flavoured with a ginger and coriander added to the flat rice noodles. It smells horrible. That's chicken. It looks like a rubber. What's this? White spaghetti? How do you use these? Are you saying it? Brilliant. I'm a yam yam, I'm just gonna use a fork. I and it's very watery, like it's swimming, like the chicken and everything is just swimming. It smells like hand soap. Do you know like the bars of hand soap that you get at like your nans? The, the imperial ones. I mean, it's like 11 quid, so I'm gonna carry on eating it. Okay, that's me eating foe. <laughs> on to the next one. Ninth on the list and the last item is a burrito. It's a Mexican cuisine consisting of a tortilla wrapped in a cylindrical shape around various ingredients which may include savoury fillings such as beef, chicken or pork, rice, cooked beans, vegetable salsa or guacamole. So is this just a wrap then? It's just what's in a standard burrito, that's all it asks for. Way too watery. This rice is getting everywhere. I don't know if I weren't missing anything with these burritos either. It's literally just dripping. Like, is this what they're supposed to do? Or is mine just like having a bad day? Nah, not a big fan of burritos. This is why, with food, yeah, I just stick to what I know. So that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, yeah, then do all that YouTuber shit. Don't forget to put your really banana. And with all that being said, <coughs> see you in a bit.